What is up fellow gamers? For today's video we're going to be taking a look into the Bulwark Enchant, an enchant that has proven itself to me as the best and easiest enchant to use while going through prestiges, and I will explain to you exactly why that is within this video. I hope you guys enjoy. How is it going, fellas? Before we get into the enchant and guide, I would like to first we mention the fact that I am streaming pretty much every single day over on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash blondebillyqjc, where I have been leveling and using many builds soon to be coming to the channel. So if you want a sneak peek or want to come show and chat it up with me, I'll be over there frequently. But now, let's get into the guide. To start, what makes this build better than most of the prestiging specs I have seen is that most prestiging specs are DPS builds, which result in long queue times. With Bulwark, you're insta queuing pretty much your whole way to max so long as you are playing at the right times. Rarely do I ever have to wait more than 3 minutes for a dungeon while playing with Bulwark aka as a tank. This is going to be beneficial for the time it takes for us to reach max level since we can now comfortably purchase and utilize potions of experience since we are sure of the fact that for the whole hour we are affected, we will be able to get dungeon groups. Plus, since we are tank, we will have an easier time finding a group of individuals whom have an aura of experience for usage, further decreasing our time to level. Furthermore, with this build, we're going to be able to make massive pulls since the bulwark enchant gives us a 100% critical block chance for the duration it is up, helping out our healers. The bulwark has for us being well over 8 seconds, assuming you use the enchant I give you here in a second. The footage that is rolling right now was a two minute rage fire chasms run with randoms. Granted, this is the easiest dungeon in the game, but there will be more clips in other dungeons where the same takes place. Additionally, this enchant does not require you to have decent gear as other enchants do in order to be viable. This is due to the 100% block chance and 8% damage reduction received when casting bulwark, which must be cast at the end of each and every single large pull so you can minimize damage taken as you see on the screen. Lastly, this enchant has proven itself to be the best prestiging spec in the game due to how easily the moves are drafted for usage on Alar, and not only that, you can be given the skill cards required to use this enchant by just talking to Uchred Berg, the tanking skill cards NPC found in the starting zones. But now that I've given you all of the reasons this enchant is the best enchant to use whilst prestiging, allow for me to give you the enchants and talents I utilized for this build. I will begin with Bulwark, the most important enchant out of all of them. What Bulwark is going to do is turn our shield block into Bulwark, an ability only usable while you are at full energy. Furthermore, whilst Bulwark is being casted, you receive 8% damage reduction as well as a 100% chance to critically block. Again, this is going to want to be cast at the end of every large pull you make whilst bomb rushing your ass through each and every dungeon as you should with this build. As for epic enchants, we went with first Emanating Light, which makes it so that your Consecration ability now follows you, allowing for us to make massive chain pulls, hastening up the dungeon. Second for epic enchants, I used Crackling Thunder, so my Thunderclap generates additional rage, as well as having something I can drag the mobs through for additional aggro as we chain pull. Lastly for epic enchants, I would suggest you use the new enchant Wind Slam, which makes it so that when you deal damage with Wind Fury, your next Shield Slam unleashes Furious Winds, dealing damage to targets around you and slowing their attack speed by 20%. This enchant also increases the chance to trigger Wind Fury by 10%. As for rare enchants, we were looking for something that helped increase our energy as well as hastening its recovery. For that, we went with Vitality Times 3 and Vigor Times 1 for the purpose of increasing our energy pool and energy regeneration by 18%, plus the talents into both, which we will get into. As for rare enchants, I used Anger Management Times 3 so that I could abuse Thunderclap slash Crackling Thunder, as well as giving us a Rage Spender. The last two rare enchants I used were Raging Thunder and Improved Thunderclap since the majority of our damage comes from our Thunderclap with our main spell being strength. Some honorable mentions for enchants would be shield specialization, shield mastery, and critical block which all will work to reduce your damage taken, though I was more focused on big DPS and higher threat for fast dungeon runs. Now let us get into the talents. These are the talents you are going to want to pick up. If you have any questions about why something was picked over another, I would love to answer them in the comment section, though I would like to point out one thing I would throw in, with that being evasion for an extra defensive cooldown for your healer as you bum rush dungeons. Though, now that I've given you all of the talents, as you can see here on the screen, I'm going to now move into the rotation. Essentially, your rotation is going to be popping Consecration, if you have Emanating Light, that is, and charging into one mob, followed by quickly tap charging another mob who is far away to cover as much ground as possible. After that, you will then use Thunderclap slash Crackling Thunder, running the mobs following you right through it. You will do this until your pull is as large as you want it, and then you will pop Bulwark so your healer can heal you back to full since you take little to no damage while it is being casted. But, now that you know why and how this is the best prestiging build, as well as how to utilize it at maximum capacity, allow for me to show you some gameplay using this build. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, fuck yeah! We got a great dungeon to start! I love this shit! 
I could do huge pulls in here. That's all. We, that's all we need. All right. I just wanted to showcase the huge, the huge pulling power that this fucking build has, guys. Uh, you, you're gonna be so mesmerized. You're gonna be in shock. You're gonna be like, oh my fucking god, how did he manage to make this work so perfectly? Uh, uh. That's gonna be a surprise, boys. It's gonna be a. Actually, is it even really a surprise? You guys already saw the entire build in its entirety. You guys already know how good this build is if you paid any attention. All right. Unbeatable build. Unbeatable build. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Share the threat. Share that threat with me. Get over here, bitch. Okay, well, I'm, listen, listen. Big pulls are not possible if the healer cannot sustain your health pool, guys. Remember that. You gotta work with your healers. Look at that. Was that a boss? I didn't even realize that was a fucking boss. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got an achievement for something. What is this? Defeat. I think it was a boss. What? That's a boss? Dude, that's epic. Big pulls here, big pulls here. You're gonna let me do it. You're gonna let me do it. Let's go, let's go. Healer's in tree form. Heal me, heal me. Why is my health pool not moving? This can be so easily avoided. Like, I don't have to die. If you just cast a couple of healing touches, maybe one or two regrowths, everything will be fine. But I mean, listen, looks like I'm getting little to none of that at this moment, which is fine. I mean, it's fine. Do you guys not want a fast fucking dungeon run? If that's the case, I mean, keep letting me die. I mean, I'm okay with that, I guess. Listen, what the fuck is going on? You're like, actually, what the fuck is going on? I bet you that healer's the whole reason we got mentorship marks for killing that first boss, 100%. Because I hover at, like, half health for up to two minutes, and he, before I even get a fucking heal, if I get a fucking heal. I would like to show you guys how well this build is able to chain pull, but I mean, again, you really need a healer that's able to do it. I was getting good healers when I was recording for my intro, to give you guys all of those clips for when I was explaining shit, but now that I'm actually recording to show you guys the gameplay, the healers that we get are absolutely underwhelming. I'm done, dude. I'm done. I'm not playing with those fucking... I just tried recording three dungeons in a fucking row, and the audio didn't work for one of them. I'm hoping that it works this time around. I had to reset my fucking computer, and I lost all of the... Th Almost all of my progress editing. Oh my god, dude. This this was a hell of a fucking video to make. I hope you guys enjoy this. Holy shit. It is a fantastic build. That's why I'm not giving up on the video. If this fucking build wasn't worth my time, I would have gave up a long time ago. This has taken me well over nine hours today alone, and I'm fucking... I'm tired. Oh, well, luckily we got the Scarlet Cathedral. We're running with a pretty good group of individuals right now. Hopefully I'll be able to chain pull without any kind of issues whatsoever. That's really the goal here. I'm about to LOS the piss out of this healer, so hopefully he's able to come down here and give me some heals. Um, I'm probably gonna do this group too and then i'll go like this and then since we have a larger group i'm gonna go ahead and pop my bulwark so i'm not taking big damage which is really gonna be beneficial for more so the healer than myself actually to be fair that bulwark does a very very vast amount of damage so it is beneficial for myself too in the entirety of my party somehow i'm not top damage which is actually surprising and very very cool i'm not cringing right now which is beneficial for the entire group if i was cringing i wouldn't be able to focus on holding threat that emanating light is extraordinarily beneficial for chain pulling it is actually required i would say Crackling Thunder isn't required required since you could just do one thunderclap over the top of all of the mobs And it would basically do the same thing as Crackling Thunder aside from the continuous threat generation that procs from the Crackling Thunder But I mean Crackling Thunder also helps with your damage too I mean Crackling Thunder is very very much so recommended in my opinion But hey listen, this is your video game You can play it as you wish take what you want from this build and utilize it as you want I mean I would recommend you to copy and paste it But a lot of people hate copy and pasting builds it's something I don't blame them for honestly It's quite boring, but I mean listen this build is gonna provide for you hours and hours Hours of fun, so it won't be boring in any way whatsoever. I can guarantee you that. If you don't like theory crafting, then why not just take this up? What is this armory? Oh, I better get my fucking helmet, or I'm gonna be emo times two. Oh, I shouldn't pull. I shouldn't pull. I shouldn't pull. Are they all in here? They're not all in here, are they? Oh, fuck me. Duck me, dude. It's okay. We don't. We don't need. You don't need anybody else but me and this guy. I don't take much damage. Oh, okay, yeah, and this guy does big DPS. He must be a booming thunder build. Look at him. He's a chicken with, with lightning coming out of his hands. It must be. Oh, the, the helmet dropped. <sighs> That's beast, dude. All right, ladies. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here within the walls of the greatest cheese shop in all of Stormwind, Tria's Cheese. I would just like to quickly make mention of some things regarding the channel and what is to come. For the past month or so, I have been trying to gather a group of content creators for a 5-man survivalist and nightmare mode challenge, just something to post once a week or month for a period of time. Me and three other people who are interested are still looking for one more content creator to get started, so if you have any interest in any specific content creator, please let me know. Also, I wanted to thank each and every last one of you guys who are subscribed for helping me reach 5 
100 subscribers. I can confidently say that this means a lot to me. I am just unaware of what to post in celebration. If you guys want to see anything in specific, please let me know. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video had a laugh or learned something new, a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. No pressure, of course. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody. See you around.